Jules May. Commissioner Gerard had a question. <laughs> yes, she is. Um, so not to drag this out any longer, but I'm going to. Uh, three weeks ago, we got an email or a series of emails from folks that live down there uh, containing a video that this Mr. Boomeister put out about how it's the county's responsibility and we should be paying for it and because we lease the land for the preserve from the state or whatever. Can you, I, I'm sure that's not dead yet. So would you, can you address that? I don't know if you've had a chance to look at the whole video. It's pretty Sure, long. And, I, and I will tell you, I it will freely admit I did not watch the whole video, um, <laughs> but I will recognize Brendan Macasey on my staff who has really worked very closely with Kelly and her staff in, in sorting through all the issues that you've heard Kelly discuss here today. Um, we have a lease with the state of Florida um, for the lands in Shell Key Preserve and a management plan. Those two things do not require us to do any dredging out there. I mean, really, on the contrary, we're to maintain it as a natural preserve. Um, I did ask Brendan to take a look at that issue, and he confirmed with me, you know, taking a look at the lease and the, and the management plans that he did not believe we have any sort of legal obligation. In fact, like I said, you know, we're really required to manage this as a natural preserve, which is contrary to some of the things you heard Kelly talking about. We would have to, you know, put bulkheads and, and use some, right. you know, pretty heavy methods out there to try to open it and keep it open. Um, so really, really contrary to the plan out there. But it, but yeah, we we reviewed it and we do not have a legal obligation under either of under those documents that were referred to in the video. Okay, thank you. 